Does Mr. Capsalis wish to address the court? 56-year-old Dean Capsalis showed no emotion, but said he was sorry about what happened three years ago when he ran down 34-year-old Henry Tapia during a road rage incident after calling him the N-word. Language like that is disgraceful, and I'm very ashamed of myself for using such horrible words. It started when Tapia forced Capsalis to stop on this street in Belmont and started arguing with him for not using his turn signal. Both men should have known better. They were both grown-ups. You don't hear about how he called him white trash and all of this. Capsalis's fiance, who says she witnessed the incident, says both men used ugly words. But it was Capsalis who then got back into his pickup, ran into Tapia, dragged him a short distance, and then drove off. Capsalis later turned himself into police, but Tapia did not survive. My son has to serve a life sentence without his father due to the actions of this man. Tapia's girlfriend says their son, now six, worries he too might someday be a victim of hate. The judge had already declined to reduce the second degree murder conviction to manslaughter and said the sentence today was mandated by state law. So by the court that on count one, you'd be punished by confinement at the Susan Baranowski Correctional Institution for life, with the possibility of parole after 15 years. Tapia's family had hoped for tougher punishment. But I know that there was something more important than this. It's the justice of heaven, the justice of God. Capitalis' attorney says without the use of the N-word, his client would have likely been found not guilty or guilty of manslaughter at most. They're not planning an appeal.